My name is Richard Simizic. I live in Geelong. I take photographs of the urban landscape. I hope I won't get knocked down by the uh, side of the road by a car going by. I'll do one, I'll just set the and aperture down. Beeping oh, at the sorry. last minute and then I get hit and I'm flattened and dead. Then get the shot. I remember, um, oh, geez, maybe about four years ago or something, uh, uh, and I actually made an inquiry to one, um, one petrol company one time, um, just to check, and, and, um, because they, it's got the word Zampol or Caltex here and there, mm. and I thought at that time, would they want to be depicted, you know, their corporate image, mm. in such a, uh, run-down fashion, even though for us, Right, it's art, but they probably might not like to see it, you know, on a wall depicted in that manner. Yep. And I rang up one of the places. It could have been actually Caltex in Melbourne, in um, in um, St Kilda Road. And I talked to a woman there. And she goes, "Oh, you know, if you had an exhibition and uh, if it and, and it had, um, you know, Caltex signs, or whatever, we have to see it first, you know, to um, to approve you having it on a wall and." and stuff like that, and I just fucking went cold, and I, you know, I put down the phone, and I didn't take any photo for about six months after that. That kind of thing, and I thought, well, fuck, did I, did I, did I get into the wrong area by photographing things that are in a, you know, in a public street? Yeah, it was just a strange one at the time, I remember, I thought, fuck. Yeah, it's just a weird thing. <laughs> Well, you've got to have, something has to get you out of the house. This is one of them that gets me out of the house. My instinct is to um, get out about in the car and drive around and look for interesting things, uh, go to interesting old places, see what's at the uh, end of the road. How old am I? Yeah. I'm 23. <laughs> no, I'm 37. Yeah, mum and, mum and dad Polish. Dad's no longer uh, uh, alive, um, but I don't speak the language. I speak bad English. <laughs> Went to Pran College in Melbourne for three years to do um, art and design there, Diploma of Art and Design. It, that was geared towards advertising or the design area of employment. 
out and about like looking for work doing freelance illustrating for a few years and photographic assisting work and just work on my own photographic stuff anyway even though it might not have been a folly at the time you just weight of numbers you accumulate a shitload of photos basically and then you get the bigger version a fucking shitload it's just about um taking the camera with me out and about in my travels and just recording things around that time about 1986 just developing a bit of an interest for that genre of um, architecture and also photography this one is in Corio, um 87 on this particular day in 87 just being isolated with this um i think it may have been ampole petrol station that's when it really clicked to me clicked with me that i reckon i could like photographing this this kind of stuff this petrol station was demolished in 1988 and just a just desolate and barren with the Melbourne road traffic zooming by between Geelong and Melbourne. sick of him. No, I never get sick of looking at him. I never get sick of photographing it either. I, li I like the film and to look at the, the transparency film on the uh, on the light board. I like the quality of it. I like the resolution. No, not a lot of people have seen the, tra the, the trannies. I, I used to um, when I was looking for photographic assisting work that comprised a bit of my photographic folio so professional people, ph photographers would have seen it. Um, I look for quite a bit of work in a variety of places. But in terms of a broader audience, a um, nah, broader audience hasn't seen it, no. But I prefer to to do to take the photographs and there's nobody around so I don't get pestered by by anyone saying what are you doing here what are you photographing well what are you doing and what are you doing it for and I'm just doing it because I'm doing it ultimately that's what it boils down to and I really don't want to explain myself unless somebody's friendly then I'll I'll give them a little bit back and I'll engage with them but sometimes there's the odd person that wants to know a little bit too much where they got a sticky beak and you know they, they might want to try and catch you out and, and embarrass you somehow and so I prefer to photograph well predominantly on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon when there's not many people 